Animal Status, what's up? My name is DJ Wonder. Hey, it's DB. Look who it is, man. DB, once again, they let him on Animal Status. <laughs> um, we just can't stop. All of our favorite people uh, are coming through to see us, and I'm, I'm very happy about tonight's guest, uh, one of the most prolific and profound producers, singers of all time. Writers. Do you want to give the rest of the, the rundown there, DB? Let me see you said producer, singer, writer, arranger, uh, instrumentalist. Yeah. I think that would be fair. Uh, DB is going in over here. Oh, man. Christmas cards. <laughs> <laughs> I can't match Sway's intro, you know what I mean? Like, you came by the show little, yeah, not too crazy, long. Right? Yeah, it was, it was like it's a long... A, yeah. was, <laughs> he said he wanted it for I'm, his alarm clock, so yeah. it's just... I want to play that when I get up. Yeah. <laughs> love, hate, love versus money, love king. Terry is Nash, 1977, one of Ooh. my personal favorites. And foreplay. And now, what are we dealing with? The three-volume masterpiece called... Menage a trois. Give it up for the dream. Uh, it's just us, man. Yeah, so, I know. You know what I mean? The canned laughter isn't here. Sorry, oh, but thank you, man. Thank that you. one person in the back still clapping. Yeah, man. <laughs> thank you, man. Thank you. Super fan. We thank brought you. them yeah, in. I appreciate don't, it, don't let man. them harass you after this is over. <laughs> uh, yo, going back to when you first started, did you have any uh, aliases before the dream? Like when you're thinking of a name. Ones that didn't make the cut. Didn't make the cut. Not really. I was in a singing group like in 98, but no. Would you go by, because Neil, <laughs> Neil went by Go-Go when he, when he first started his, in his group. That was his like, uh, his I think alias. it was like T-Daddy or something like that. Mm. Oh, T, I kind of like T. Is that ever your, uh, if, if you're with somebody maybe and you, yeah. you go by T-Daddy yeah, sometimes? Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Uh, what's right. up, baby? Remember when Kevin Hart was up and he said his, his initial name before you said it on Kevin Hart, it was Kevin the Bastard. That was his comedy stage name that he wanted to use. I'm so. dead. <laughs> I'm going to call him immediately. What's up, bastard? Kevin the bastard. All right, so uh, you work with any up and coming artists right now? Is that something that you're into, or are you just? I'm really into it. And the craziest thing is, everybody that's up and coming thinks that I'm not into it. Cause they it's, see these people that I work yeah. with, and they're like, "Oh, we can't get Dream. He's not doing it. It's not happening." So I have to call them. One of my favorites right now is Summer Walker. I'm like, yo, what's good? Who is managed by the model Summer Summer Walker? Isn't that weird? Really? Yeah. Oh, that's what somebody told me. I think that's the truth. I don't, I don't know. Do you know, yeah. you know Summer, the. Yeah. Yeah. Well, it's a little <laughs> little factoid for everybody out there. Anyway, I'm definitely gonna <laughs> yeah. check it out. You said model. Yeah. Well, I mean, she used to be with DJ Jama. It's, uh, it's oh. Yeah. Oh, he put, yeah. <laughs> no Google images right now, no guys. No Google. Don't do Google. Uh, now, so if, if there was somewhere like summer or somebody didn't have like a budget, like some of these other artists you work with, you would definitely cut them a break, right? Definitely. That's that's good. Why do you like that? Because you're inspired by. Uh, I just like music and yeah. musicians and people that about music itself like everybody can't uh, doesn't know when they go to come into money or whatever like i think it's just about belief as long as you're doing something i'm either going to direct you to what you should be doing or direct you away from it mm -hmm. that's how life works right. if it looks you six five and you in here like trying to rap it it looks like you just dunked on somebody I'm like y'all let's have a conversation did you ever stop rapping did you listen to uh <laughs> cedric sabalas's album or maybe shaq fu I didn't. Shaq had some hits. I'm outstanding. That was the first CD I owned. Yeah. I remember the singles definitely. Mm -hmm. Yeah. yeah. I don't, you can't yeah. stop the rain. You're just too tall for A me. biological didn't bother. Yeah. A biological didn't bother. <laughs> that was my that was my Shaq impression. All right, so we're gonna get into this album right now because you got three volumes. And, you know, when you were on Sway, I told you one of my favorites was uh, Gorgeous. And, oh, uh, yeah, yeah. yeah. And, joint right there. I don't right. know what y'all be doing to that, but okay. Hey, I just like it. Cause, we cause, listen to it with each other sometimes, just yeah. hanging out. It's I all you know. figure. It's all good. I got it. Sip, sip, sipping, you know, a little drink or something. Anyway, you got a song in there called Super Soaker. Yeah, I do. Is one of that my about squirting? Yes, it is. I thought so. How could you not? I don't know, because I'm listening to it, and sometimes it's like... Okay, because you see a title of a song mm -hmm. and you, and you automatically think, okay, that's probably something like really like. Oh sexual. no no no! Yeah, I did that on purpose to literally out think that thinking of the brain. It's like that can't be that because that would be too literal. Right. No, it's literally. Okay, so so literal. that's that's pretty much the tone of the album is the title, so, the yeah, the, the lyrics on everything. Yes. Right. <laughs> That's it. I love that. Just that's, running it, that's, all down it, that's not a metaphor? Is... No, it's not. It's not a it's metaphor. It's just straight up. Yeah. Squirting. Everybody's very disappointed in me, by the way. They're like, Dream, you usually have these big umbrella-type metaphors. Like, no, Super Soaker. 
Skirt. That's what umbrellas for. Hey, uh, let's get to it, baby. Super soaker, <laughs> animal status, right here. Shade forty five. Oh, and then this this guy named uh, the Dream just happened to stop by and say what's up to by. us tonight. Seeing you guys in here we're building a campfire. Mm-hmm. Yeah. to come in. See, see what's up. We we uh we have to do things on our own, man. We don't have a, a big budget for this show, but it's all good. None of us do. I'm gonna make sure you're comfortable. Um, speaking of being comfortable, you're about to go on tour. The sex tape we're, tour. Yeah. yeah. I and mean, that sounds like uh, something I'd like to be involved with, not not with you personally, the dream, but just <laughs> so, some 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 por- some portion eye. of it. Uh, uh, what, what's it look like? What's your what's your like when you go out on the road? What does your whole setup look like? How many it's, people? It's it? so small, and so everybody's always like, "Yo, where's the security team?" <laughs> I'm like, I ain't, "I ain't got time for that." Even when security guys are around, like I feel some type of way. I got I got a guy. And I have a guy and a half, right? And there's one guy, like, there's the new guy that comes when he's probably unavailable, anything family-oriented. I tell him, they'll come in and they'll stand between me and the other person. I'm like, yo, this is R&B. It's real. Nobody's here to kill me. Everybody loves me. Please don't upset anybody here. Because, you know, security guards, are, they make it something worse than, they don't understand to diffuse. Diffuse! Right. Diffuse. He wants to get in a session that bad. Please get him a section, man. Come on, you can sit right here by me. What you drinking? Is I've he done a, that. Is he a kung fu like smaller dude or is he a big dude like? M- I muscle? got two of them. One of them is like yeah, definitely the muscles like the size of like our bodies, and the other guy is definitely probably more of the killer because he's just exactly. Steven Seagal like. Oh, definitely. Like, pew, pew. Okay. Yeah. Uh, like. is, is Zach still going to be um, DJing with you? Zach is coming out, yeah. Yeah. That's my guy. Good guy. Yeah. Very good guy. He's been yeah. up a couple times yeah. up here doing some mixes and stuff. Yeah. And uh, you guys linked over his mixtapes. That's, yep. that's yep. See, look, kids, your dreams can come true. Just start making stuff. All yeah. right? Maybe All so. you got to do is make stuff and they will come. Do you, do you really believe that? I believe it. You build it and they will come. It's an Old Testament, but I believe it still. Wonder doesn't look so optimistic about that. No, I, I, I'm just not. I'm not putting out a, a lot of content. He built man. a camp- campfire. I'm in this month. Yeah. <laughs> dream came, I came dream to the came. campfire. That's all I care God, about. Damn it. That's all uh, she cares about. Was I came. Never mind. On this tour, what do you think is going to be different than maybe your first tour when you went out talking about like playing to the crowd, everything else? What, what might be different? I think what happens is a lot of people miss me when I go out because I do these intimate sets of 700 and 1,000 seaters on purpose, which I love to death. You get to see everybody. You get to... I just... I don't like the big rooms. I don't know what that is. You like to be in control. My psychologist told me it was something like... Yeah, she's just like, you don't like the big... You don't like that stuff. Like, even if you made Hey Ya right now, you'll be like... Like, no, I'm good. I'm not going I'm not going to my own show. It's not happening. Which is probably why I never make those big records for myself. So um, a lot of people miss it. And it's always awesome because that person who misses it is with somebody that's there. And I always wonder why they want me to do a certain record that they know that I did on the tour that I just did. And it's because they're bringing two new people or three new people. And they're like, yo, I know you're putting Fancy on the set. I'm like, that doesn't have nothing to do with sex tape. <laughs> but they've been tweeting it all day. Like, yo. Where's Fancy? You're not one of the people that uh, has to switch up the hits, right? Because you get so bored with it. Like, do you do remi- I won't do that. Yeah, you got to no, play the, the banger, that, right? Shawty is 10, go, yeah. definitely going to play. Rockin' That is definitely going to play. I love your girl. It's no, I don't do that to people. I don't care if who's out there trying to big, like, man, you need to do none of that. Do song number eight on each album. Right. Like, nah, dog. Well, let me ask you, because while you're on tour and you've been on the road plenty of times, what's the craziest thing that a fan has ever said or done, you know, in your presence? Oh, man, just <laughs> literally left all of their, um, wow, left literally a bunch of underwear in the back. Like, I don't even know how they got back there. Like, more them. than one? Just Yeah, like, just, just. <laughs> their yeah. laundry? And then they hit me later <laughs> and said, I brought you all of my underwear. You deserve it. And I was like, oh, you brought those from home. <laughs> and you put them in my dressing room. And so I'm terrified now, of course. I had my daughter with me at the time. Oh, like, look oh away, look God. away, look away, look away, don't, look away. The pile of panties is not yeah. for you. That's, that's not for nobody. Yeah. Like, look away, look that way. So the moral um, of the story is, where did you put them at in your house? Um, They're in my second drawer. Okay, that's okay. what I thought. In the nightstand, yeah. <laughs> that's right, baby. Animal status, shade 45, the dream. <laughs> <laughs> You're the animal of the wow. animal status. Right. Um, wow. R&B gorillas in here. That's right. The dream yes. is over there. And uh, 
we're big movie fans. That's pretty much all we do. Not like me. Oh, oh here we go. Because we're about to get into it. Ooh. What's one movie that you do not want to see a remake of? That's all people want to do now because it's easy money. Trading Places. Mm. So is that one of your favorites? Is, out, outside of Christmas movies, just favorite movie of all? One of your Period. favorite? Trading yeah. Places. Oh, my God. What? So how do you feel about coming to America? The limo was busted and again, couldn't get in contact with my hoes. How do you feel about coming to America? Because they're about to do that sequel. I'm feeling some type of way, mm-hmm. but not as a, it was something. Something about coming to America was still kind of begging for a sequel. You still kind of like wonder what happened to. And Trading Places is like no, don't touch it. There's nothing that happens after that. He's on a boat in mm-hmm. the ocean. Leave Eddie and Dan alone. Mm-hmm. Like cool. And I think with coming to america i could see them try to if they fail i'm not mad it's been so long you're not gonna piss me off it's those ones when they try to remake something like seven years from now you're like nah you either wait a long long time or you do it real quick what if they uh they were doing a remake of trading places but they asked you to score the whole thing Ooh. And then we should do a remake of Trading Places, like <laughs> oh, starting exactly. tonight. That's cause... right, because you have the vision, and it's one of your I favorite. I now movies. know yeah. exactly where it should go from there. The boat sinks, you know, and then he finds out the money wasn't real and legit. Ooh. You have to go back to Philadelphia to get on the stock market, you know. Well, you brought up soundtrack. So, what, in your opinion, because I just uh, I was talking to somebody, and I think it was like a Twitter thing, and. People were saying like, "What's the best soundtrack ever?" My oh, vote man. was for Purple Rain. Some people said Boomerang. There were some pretty good, I mean, uh, Menace to Society, you know what I mean? Like, there's... Wow. Black Panther is even, I mean, they just got nominated for an Oscar. Rocky. Damn, wow. that's a good score. Bill Conti. Yeah. What? Yo. Yo. That's, that's motivation. You in, in that gym album with that? Form. In the, yeah. Oh, yo. Do you... Are, do, are in getting ready to have sex? You put on I you put on Eye of the Tiger though like Survivor yes. that's right before yes do you uh, do you ever like listen to a soundtrack like that and kind of help it influence the like vibe of of a song that you might want to put out oh man um, no I never have I never even thought I com- compartmentalize those things like movie stuff is my I got a love for it I'm starting to write movies now like it's like a my wife found out the hard way it's like oh he has the, he's cheating on me with movies like she'll say I'm going to Target. You've been in Target for four hours. Like, uh, yeah, uh, you look tired. What's this white stuff around your mouth? Like, it's popcorn, okay? <laughs> <laughs> popcorn. Yo. Yo. It's just butter. I went to see The Favorite. Uh, y'all seen The Favorite? I didn't see it yet. I'm not movie guys. Here we go. Okay. All right. Can't believe y'all. I'm kind of behind. Can't believe right now. Listen, man, I only watch 90s movies. I live in like I'm in the 90s. That's the only thing oh, I watch. I watch true. the same stuff over and over and over. So he's the one Me that. Me too. Well, can't stop watching Dr- Judge Dredd no matter how bad it is. Like, okay. So that's just alone, Judge Dredd? Yes. Oh, not even the, the, the updated version? That was wack. With, no, with, no, no. With, with Carl I don't Urban? I remember that. Don't no, stop playing. No, the oh. first one. That one in Demolition, man. Like, it's just, mm. if it's on. I don't care if it's on the channel that has commercials. It can be on TNT. I'm looking at it. So when you eat Taco Bell, you're automatically thinking about Demolition Man. Period. All right. Automatically yes. thinking about Stallone. We got Rocky. We have Demolition Man. We have Judge Dredd. Yeah. All right. What you want to hear, man? <laughs> F- favorite uh, movie song of all time? Whatever you want to hear. What is it? Oh, man. Really? Yeah. Gladys Knight, License to Kill. Ooh, oh, Bond. He went to the Bond soundtrack. Shade 45, only place you're going to hear this right now, Animal Status. Period. Every time we get to an ah. end, of, end of an interview, DB gets into his uh, salesman voice. Oh, yeah? Yeah. So I'm selling you shit? He's trying to sell a dream. I don't know what's going hey, on. Hey, that was a great pun. <laughs> All right. Uh, <laughs> what's the dumbest thing you ever bought, man? Let's be straight straight up. Shit, the dumbest thing. Because you I talked bought. about uh, you were a big fan of cooking and cuisine art and things yeah, like yeah. that, so I know you probably bought something I that was just- I definitely bought a whole bunch of dumb shit. I'm just trying to figure out what's the dumbest shit that I when bought. You fr- when you got your first big check or whatever, were you smart because you had seen other people go the wrong way? But Yeah, because I was 30. Okay, really? Mm. Yeah. That was your first Yeah. 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 So that, so I was I was good. Right. It was so lucky. <laughs> that same check ten years prior. Oh boy. Not the same nigga. Mm. Shit's different. I already know what shit spent. I just spent it in my mind thinking about it. Twenty. On the next day. Done. Mm. Type of shit happens. Are you a closed person? Definitely. Okay. Gotta get it. Bergdorf Goodman. What's up? Shout out. All right. Well, 
one day we'll be able to spend something. I yeah. don't know what we have here. Yeah, I'll look fresh as fuck, actually. All oh, your shit looks new. You got a nice trim. Your beard looks great. What's going we, on? We, we did, I did this this morning. So we did, you know, this, just, we yeah. did this for you, man. We did man. this for you, Dream. We wanted to come here presented looking All good. All right, okay. You know. All right. All right. We talked about uh, sound checks before, but and I know you must be a Prince fan. Yes, of course. Okay. My favorite, one of my favorite movies of all time, Purple Rain, I'm sure it's one up, of my favorite up there. Movie, definitely. Uh, outside of the soundtrack of Purple Rain, the mm-hmm. whole discography of Prince, they gave you full reign to do one Prince song. What would it be? Oh, wow. I wouldn't want to do nothing outside of Purple You wouldn't Rain. touch it? No, Purple. Well, he said outside of Purple Rain. That's, that's got to be the greatest. Yeah, I'm ever. like, yeah. yeah. All right, what is it from Purple Rain? Um, Purple Rain. Would you know right now, like exactly what, which, how you would arrange it, or you'd have to like sit with it? I think I no, I think I would go straight orchestra with it. Wow. Would you bring in somebody straight else, orchestra. like either yeah, an artist want, or? Yeah, I want a different singer on that joint. I would want to hear orchestra and Rihanna on that. Wow. Yeah. I'm envisioning it mm-hmm. now. No drums, the whole song. The whole song. No, or I mean timpanis, you know, the just for the breakdown. But nothing, yeah, yeah mm-hmm. nothing in that rock space at all. Like just Abbey Road, Rihanna, and Purple Rain. All right. Real quick to the <laughs> geeks that are listening, uh, geeks, geeks of the week. Your hands on with the production. Like, mm-hmm. you, what what program do you use, or what hardware, um, whatever? Pro Tools, basically. Mm-hmm. I still use my MP. Everybody thinks that's very impressive. Mm-hmm. I don't. It's analog. But, but it sounds good. Like to, yeah. yeah, I have to. I just like. But the drums hit harder when you use an MP versus like the. Uh, it's something it's about the sound it. packs. The compression that's yeah. inside. I mean, it's something about it. Um, yeah. Logic, of course. Mm-hmm. And so those are my three components. Everything else, usually when I put it in, I'm playing live anyway. So oh. we'll run it straight through Pro Tools, put the keyboard up, um, and I'll just pick that sound and play live. I never like, even if it's a Logic sound, I never loop it. I just play it, have them record it, try to get it down like for a good four or eight bars, and then like that's the one I like. Next, are you next in track. there actually chopping things or engineer chops everything up? Um, back and forth. It just depends on sometimes they'll miss the one or you know like they're not hearing it start where I'm <laughs> hearing it, and they're mm-hmm. like, "No, this is the one." I'm like, no, 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 just it's okay. <laughs> gotcha. This is the one. Well, the dream art. Time is uh, coming to an end. You see the fire; it's going down. The, the Midnight Society is almost going to oh, be yeah. throwing water on the uh, fire. It's going to start to get cold in it's here. It's going to be a wrap. <laughs> uh, so I'm going to let you pick any song, whether it's one of your own or so, anything else you want to hear uh, before we get out of here. Oh man, I want to hear "Respect" by Otis Redding. Ooh. You have some great picks tonight, I have to say, Mister Mister Dream. Thank you so much, <laughs> Mister Dream. Thank you so much for coming by. <laughs> we have some more animal status up next on Shade Forty Five. Don't forget, Menage a Trois is out now. Go get that. Yeah, go get that. If you got somebody, definitely. If you want somebody, you should get it anyway, and mm-hmm. then play it for them mm-hmm. in public. If you're lonely like me, you get it and cry. Mm-hmm. <laughs> I cry when I make love to myself. Oh God. Yo, what's up? This is the Dream, and you're checking out Animal Status. Rawr.